Opiate withdrawal is brutal and it's one of the main reasons why people don't quit because they are so harsh. And I am a recovering opiate addict, so I'm gonna talk about opiate withdrawal to hopefully give you some solutions as well as increase some awareness about what these drug addicts are going through. So stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. As of today, I am coming up on five and a half years sober from drugs as well as alcohol, and my primary drug of choice was prescription opiates. So Vicodin, Oxys, Morphine, the list goes on and on. If it came in a pill form and I can crush it, snort it, swallow it, whatever it was, I was taking it. And it was brutal, and hopefully um, you check out the info card. I have a video about my story about how my prescription drug addiction kind of progressed. And one thing I wanna make very clear is that most heroin addicts out there did not just start out with heroin. Most of them started out with prescription painkillers. That's one of the reasons why I keep making videos about prescription drug abuse, because this is the gateway towards heroin. People don't wake up in the morning and say, hmm, you know what? I'm gonna try some heroin today. Oftentimes, it's because of the withdrawal symptoms that people progress to heroin or because their tolerance built up. But anyways, personally, one of the reasons why I couldn't quit opiates was because the withdrawal was so, so brutal. As I continued to use, my tolerance and my dependence was going up. So what that means is that I needed more just to feel okay and the withdrawal was happening almost instantly after the drugs were metabolizing in my system. So waking up sick, nauseous, puking, aches, pains, just all these things, it was brutal. And personally, and by the way, if I didn't put this disclaimer in the uh, beginning, here it is now. Like, just so you know, never, ever, 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 ever try to quit opiates on your own get a medical detox. I am going to make a video about this like probably right after this video. So don't quit on your own. But anyways, personally, I did a cold turkey opiate detox, one of the most dangerous things that you can do. And it was brutal. Basically what happened to me was I lied to the doctor about how much I was using so he didn't give me any kind of uh, withdrawal medications. And I was curled up in a ball in my bed in sober living for about a week. It felt like every bone, joint, muscle in my body was just dying on the inside and coming apart. I was 27 years old and it felt like I was a 90 year old man. It was brutal. And all of the stomach issues I was having and the stomach issues actually lasted for quite a while. Um, it, was, it was just awful and I wanna make it clear, this is one of the reasons why people use, like when, when the withdrawal happens, like most opiate addicts, we want to quit. I wanted to quit for a long time. And you wake up in the morning and you said, you know what, today I'm gonna to quit. But once the withdrawal starts hitting you, like you can you know, use that willpower for a little bit, but then the easier way is to just call your dealer and get some more, you know? And me being a pill addict, like I am very, very, very fortunate that I never progressed to heroin, but like I can honestly understand why people try heroin for the first time because withdrawal was so brutal. Like if I couldn't get a hold of pills and somebody had heroin right there, I would have been like, fine, I'll try it, whatever, you know? And I would have been hooked like that, especially because it was so much cheaper. Now, the withdrawal symptoms from opiates are both mental, and physical, okay? This is important because I'm gonna do some other videos about other drugs and their withdrawal symptoms. And opiates, alcohol, benzos, and things like that, primarily mental as well as physical. Some other drugs like cocaine and meth, they're mainly psychological. So, one of the things is during opiate withdrawal, the craving is going nuts, okay? And this is because the body has become accustomed to taking an opiate. So it, your brain is doing everything in its power to try to get you to use more. The reason why withdrawal happens from opiates is because you have been occupying the opiate receptors in your brain, and once you stop using, they become vacant. So all the neurotransmitters in your brain start misfiring, and this is what causes a lot of the aches, the pains, and the other issues, because your brain is sending out these insane signals to the rest of your body. and. 
the psychological dependence is one of the most difficult because with medical assistance, and I will make a more dedicated video to this, the physical symptoms go away, but the cravings are there. So a lot of the mental symptoms of withdrawal from opiates, you get a lot of anxiety. You get a lot of irritability. This is, by the way, one of the ways to tell that somebody has been abusing opiates because when we're coming down, like when I was coming down, like before withdrawal fully hit, I was highly irritable. Like if somebody said the wrong thing to me, ooh, hoo, 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 they better watch out. So we get irritable anxiety is through the roof the cravings are through the roof we get insomnia we also have a lot of depression that surrounds it too so there's a lot of different psychological symptoms of withdrawal now as far as the physical symptoms i'm going to read you a list of the physical symptoms i experienced some of them not all of them but here are some of the symptoms of opiate withdrawal pain in the muscles, gastrointestinal, uh, uh, gastro, wait, let me try this one more time, gastrointestinal, and this includes diarrhea, vomiting, nausea, the whole body, restlessness and sweating, this is a huge one. You can summarize this with flu-like symptoms. Sweating, right? Um, hot and cold uh, flashes and all sorts of stuff, okay? So, by the way, if you're not an opiate addict, like, just imagine going through this, all right? Also, cramping, abdominal pain, fast heart rate, excessive yawning, goosebumps, insomnia, or tremors. So, a lot of opiate addicts, too, like, something I didn't really struggle with that I noticed, because now that I think about it, I did, is rest, restless leg syndrome. And that is basically, you know, part of your neurotransmitters going haywire and your leg, it kicks, it shakes. That's why a lot of people, when they're going through opiate withdrawal, they call it kicking because your leg, it sporadically just kicks, kicks, kicks. All right. So for me, it was brutal. And by the way, if you're a recovering addict and you can relate to what I'm saying here, one of the ways that I stay clean is that I never, ever, ever, ever want to forget what withdrawal was like. Because trust me, as addicts in recovery, we get this idea like, hmm, maybe I could just do, you know, this one Vicodin or something like that. It's only five milligrams or whatever. Like, I know what happens and I never want to go through withdrawal again. If you are not an addict, I hope this video has given you some clarity as to what addicts go through when they're withdrawing. And yeah, I know there's gonna be some comments like, well, you shouldn't have done that to yourself, but check out some of my other videos about how addicts become addicts because that is very insensitive and a real lack of empathy for your fellow human beings. I hope I was able to share some awareness about what's going on. If you can relate to this, if you had symptoms, if you never wanna go back to opiate withdrawal, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Share this video with other people so they know what opiate detox is like. I want people to understand why people relapse so early on, like when they're trying to detox. Like, so please share this video. But anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you haven't yet, click the little round subscribe button right below my beautiful face right here because I'm always making videos about addiction, addiction recovery, the science behind it, as well as stuff to help you with your mental health. And check out some of the videos over to the left of me, ton of other videos on this channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.